we came out to our machine shop. We're just uh, getting some familiarity with some of our employees on how we make the things we make because it is at a different location than what our warehouse is. Uh, killing two birds with the same rock. We brought some raw materials from the big city out to our uh, countryside machine shop. Our tools start out with material like this. And this the aluminum will get turned into seal installers and the steel will get turned into either bearing race installers or uh, something similar that's going to be mating with a you know hard metal like a bearing or something. We're going to go inside and uh, check out some machinery we use to make a lot of our tools and parts. We've got a small saw here for smaller projects where we only need to make a cutter tool. We've got this bigger CNC bandsaw. Uh, it, we can tell it how many uh, pieces to cut and what length. We set it once and it just goes. If we've got multi link pieces that out of the same material, we can program that in as well. We just uh, put our length in, hit go, and come back when we hear the machine turn on. Back here we've got our automatic parts loading CNC light. This will take parts. Once they come off the saw, they get put here. And it'll take parts off once it's set up and it'll just cut them one side at a time. Uh, set 36 on the tray, push go, walk away, you know, we'll get on one of these other machines around here, come back when it's done, and it's really redundant stuff. It doesn't require people. Um, you know, there's plenty of tasks that does require a person to be there. You know, things that uh, automation can't fix, but this, uh, this is thing, something that automation can fix. So while this machine's working, you can jump on, you know, another machine. The model's the TL1. It's it's uh, it's made by Haas. It's uh, one of their smaller CNC lays. This one we can also, if we want. We can cut stuff out by hand. It's got the hand wheels on it. They do have a little bit of play in it. And this is not automatic feeding or anything like that. Uh, this is put a part in, do one side, turn it around, do the other side, and then take that piece out, do the next one. We do this. We do that on uh, a bunch of smaller production pieces. It is a little challenging, but if you're just trying to do a mock-up real quick to get your programming right, uh, or just do a one-off piece, uh, this is a, a great machine for that. In addition to machining stuff, it also turns out a lot of uh, waste or otherwise unusable, unusable product for uh, the bulk of our manufacturing. All the steel chips and aluminum chips, they all get recycled. There's a bunch of short pieces of steel that is either too short for a tool or in, in some cases a tool that went wrong during manufacturing. Um, or some of these are also bent, so we can't use them. But we will use this material for one-off stuff. If we've got a, uh, a shop press tool or something we gotta make, just anything oddball, we can come up to the, the shelf here and hopefully find what we need so we don't got a full production product um, off the line. And most of our product is stored in here. Some of it is stored in a couple of other buildings outside as well. So that's the bulk of uh, what goes on here. This, uh, this facility through that door actually did used to be our main warehouse. There's uh, what was it? less than 2,000 square foot total, I think we had for a warehouse as when we started uh, years ago. Uh, it's since moved to, let's see, we had about 5,000 square foot of warehouse space that was we moved from Roberts here to Billings about six years ago. And last year, we moved from one location of buildings to another, and we've got double, more than double that square footage now. And it's still getting full pretty quick, but we've got, we can double that space pretty easy. It's already partially done. Um, but yeah, this is where it all started, was right through those doors. Uh, went from servicing vehicles, we've got a lift in our Billings warehouse now, vehicle lift, they used to live in there. Uh, you know, just a one man, one shop bay. And uh, went to selling some stuff online in the early 2000s and got out of service work. The lift still stayed there, but we just kind of constructed shelves around it. 
Um, we brought in first one machine, and then more machines later, and as time went on, we just needed more space, and now this is entirely our manufacturing center. We've also got two little doors now. Um, a lot of our tools get black oxide coated. I guess I don't have any here to show, but um, check them out on our website, corkking.com. You'll see that uh, the tools that are black, that's all, they're, they're coated in-house uh, right through the door there. So that's about it for here. Um, we're gonna head back to Billings now, go outside and see if the trailer's unloaded. Yep, looks like everybody's standing around with their hands in their pockets. <laughs> Boss isn't gonna like that, so we're gonna get headed back to town here.